All right, so let's get right into today's uh, reading. I want us to go to Luke chapter 1, 46 to 56. Luke 1, 46 to 56. And this is Mary speaking. And it says this. And Mary said, My soul praises the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has looked with favor on the humble condition of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed because the mighty one has done great things for me and his name is holy. His mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear him. He has done a mighty deed with his arm. He has scattered the proud because of the thoughts of their hearts. He has toppled the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has satisfied the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering his mercy to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he spoke to our ancestors. And Mary stayed with her about three months. Then she returned to her home. I want to just raise something. Firstly, I want you to understand that Mary was somebody who understood the heart of God. As you can see, mothers, can you imagine Jesus being raised by Mary if this is the insight that she already had? All right, so right from the onset, we see that Mary had an insight with God. She knew what was going on, and she knew that God was gracious, God was going to bless, and God was going to do something miraculous through her. She counted an absolute honor that she was chosen. But many people don't realize the intent uh, of Mary, where she was with the Lord, the level of insight, the level of anointing that she actually carried in her own right. And so this morning, let us celebrate the fact that as Mary looked at this situation, she totally submitted to the Lord. And she says, God, let me be this vessel that is going to bring the Messiah, that's going to bring a change to the, to the generations. And remember this, she highlights something. And she speaks about what happens to Israel. All right? And it says this, and has helped his servant Israel. In other words, she was aware that there were promises. She was aware that God is going to help this nation. And so as she comes before God, you hear this prayer saying, Jesus Christ is going to be born. I'm going to carry this child. And remember that she was with Elizabeth for three months. And so there we were, and she just comes and she just starts just spending time before God, preparing and understanding what is coming. This is why later when she started Jesus' ministry, it wasn't by accident that she says, listen, you know, just she ignored what Jesus had said when he said it's not his time. And she said to the servants, just listen to him anyway. She basically catalysted the first miracle because she had an insight. She knew what was happening and she knew when to release certain things. So this morning when we come around the table, let us celebrate the fact that even Mary had a revelation of who Jesus Christ was. Now, I want to make this very clear. We do not exalt and make a thing out of Mary. The only thing that I wanted to highlight this morning was the following. Was that Mary had insight as to what was going on. She had genuine insight and revelation on the magnitude of the child that she was carrying. All right. She had a prophetic insight that a lot of people just overlook not realizing that she actually understood this. Now, she said that she was just a vessel. She was just an instrument to bring Jesus in. And so we want to just thank God today that God uses vessels. All right? God uses people to prepare us, to get us to where we need to go. And so this morning, when we come around the table, we want to celebrate the fact that even Mary knew that she was carrying somebody special. And that special 
Jesus Christ was our, our Savior who loves us so much. So this morning when we come around the table, let us celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ has come. All right. Nine days is the day that we celebrate the day that he was born. And we are going to celebrate it together, knowing that he's our savior and that he has delivered us from every single demonic thing, every single plan the devil ever had. And the biggest one has delivered us from hell and the fact that we are not separated from God anymore. Lord, we come before you and we thank you, Lord, that on the night that you were betrayed, you took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. You took the cup and you said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical, emotional healing in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so this morning, as we come, let us pray and ask God to forgive us of what we've done wrong. But let us celebrate the fact that the Holy Spirit is working in our lives to bring us closer and a better revelation of who our Savior is. Lord, we ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, any wrong intention. I ask you please to wash us white as snow. But Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you that you are going to do something supernatural in and through each one of us. And Lord, I thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit. Just like Mary had the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit to give us the insight and the revelation of who Jesus Christ is. Lord, I thank you for giving Mary that revelation that she understood who she was carrying and what she had to do. And Lord, I pray right now that in our lives, Lord, that we will have a revelation of who you are. And Lord, that we will do what you've called us to do in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. And Lord, I thank you that the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us quicken our mortal bodies. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. That every single symptom of sickness be gone in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, that we are going to see a supernatural miracle take place in our physical bodies right now. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, it is the 16th. What does that mean? The great trick out of Gauteng. Okay. I want to just say that officially holidays have begin for all of the begun for all of the Gautengas. Those on the coast get ready. The guys are coming. All right. Those GP number plates are going to flood the coast in the next few hours. And so this morning, what we're going to do is we're going to pray that God is going to have a protection over our vehicles as you travel. All right. I know that this is going to get quite bumpy and quite busy, but I want to just pray that from today, it is going to be a wonderful, wonderful, relaxing season. All right. That you're going to have a good relaxing season and that you are going to have a wonderful time with friends and family and relaxing, enjoying the holidays and just having a good time together in Jesus name. So let's pray. Lord, we come before you today. And Lord, I pray over each and every one traveling by road. Lord, I thank you right now that your protection will be on the vehicles in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now that everyone will be alert and awake. Lord, I pray that we will not be impatient. Lord, particularly at the toll gates. But Lord, I pray right now that your blessing will be upon each one that is traveling. Father, we thank you, Lord, that when they get to their destination. Lord, that this will be a season of rest and blessing and rejuvenation. Father, I pray right now for your blessing to rest upon each and every one in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for this festive season. Lord, that everyone will just have a wonderful time of relaxation and enjoyment. Father, we release your blessing. We release your anointing. We release the power of God over each and every one in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, that as the great track starts today, 
Lord, I thank you for your blessing and anointing upon every single person traveling. Lord, we release your peace over our nation, your blessing over our nation. And we thank you, Lord, that we will see the fruit of everything that is happening in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I thank you, Lord, that we can just release uh, energy and vitality on every single individual. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as people travel, that they will not be tired and exhausted. Lord, you'll give them the, the ability to stay alert in everything that they need to do. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want to just remind you of two things. Number one, that from today, all right, into the new year, we'll let you know closer to the time, we are going to have guest speakers every single night. Okay, so from today, our program officially stops. And from tonight, everything is going to be guest speakers. So we're going to have multiple guest speakers every single night so that you have the word every single night if you would like to listen. I do understand if you skip it to have a braai or something with friends and that that's fine. But we will constantly just be giving out the word so that you have something if you need it. Amen. All right. And then I want to remind you that as we get closer to Christmas, all right, on Christmas uh, Eve, we are going to have a midnight Christmas service. So I just want to let you be aware of that. And then a New Year's, uh, quarter, I think it's about quarter to 11, we will have a New Year's service as well. Okay, so please get ready for those. And, uh, and then or remember on the 25th of December, okay, on the 25th of December, we are going to have carols by candlelight. So I want you please to be ready for that. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so we've pre-recorded that so that you could get it. It's going to be wonderful. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who helped us pre-record that. All right. So I want you to know that if you're still looking for communion books, they're still available. We have a few left. So please, if you want to order them, you can still get them before Christmas. Okay. The couriers are not shut down. In fact, they are running double pace right now, obviously, because of this Christmas season. And so if you still want to order any books, you can go to DrArthurFrost.com and you could get them there. All right, so let's get to our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might. I want you to go out with valor. And I want you to be blessed in Jesus' name. Remember this, even if you're on holiday, wherever you are, speak blessing, speak life, and release the anointing. If you're in a holiday destination, release the blessing of God wherever you are in Jesus' name.